Hi, welcome again. It's Marek Mularczyk from saitraining.co.uk. Today we'll do a bit of Lightroom and a bit of Photoshop. Here's a question I have recently received. I want to edit my images, raw images, instead of Lightroom, but I also want to edit them in, in the Adobe Camera Raw. I recently upgraded to Photoshop CS5 and I want to take advantage of using Adobe Camera Raw 6. How can I do it? Because when I try to open my images from Lightroom in Photoshop, they just open straight in Photoshop, but not in Camera Raw. So I'm going to show you that. So here I am in Lightroom, Lightroom 2.7. And I have a couple of these images here. I'm just going to open this image here. Okay, so I'm just jumping to develop module. And I can see I've made some changes to this image. I've added some brush strokes and updated saturation. But I'm going to do even more. So I'm, I'll go to the right hand panel here and I'm going to add some blacks to increase contrast a bit. Okay, that's good. And I'll make some more very visible changes. So I'm going to increase the clarity to give boost to some colors in the image. And maybe I'll increase the vibrance as well, just slightly. Okay. That looks quite good. That should be fine. Now, if I want to add this image in Photoshop, I would go to Photo, Edit In, and Edit In Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop CS5. But what this does is it opens the raw image straight inside Photoshop, not inside Adobe Camera Raw, uh, but inside Photoshop as an application. So that's the point here. So we're going to have a look on that and how to solve it. Now it's ready in the camera raw format and it's going to open it in Photoshop in just a couple of seconds. It's quite a big file. And here you go. The image does look like the one in Lightroom. So that's a good thing here. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. So the image looks like in Lightroom, which means it's reading all the adjustments. But this is Photoshop. This is not camera raw. That's not what I want here. So I'm just going to close that. No, I don't want to save the changes. And I'll go back to Lightroom. So I'll just minimize Photoshop. Now here's the trick. What we need to do here is we need to export the image from Lightroom and then open it in Adobe Camera Raw. Now we need to export the image with all the adjustments. I will compare this, that with the Camera Raw in Photoshop. And you'll see how Camera can also read all these values here and set the sliders in exactly the same positions. So here you go. Now we're going to import this image. So I'll go back to my library panel. I'll just go into export this one image. So I'll select this image here and I'll click on export button to export it. Now the export dialog box comes out. And what I want to do, I want to burn the full size. That's fine. I'm going to change it anyway. So it doesn't really matter which option I use here. I don't want to put it on a CD or DVD, I want to put it on a hard drive. So I'll select files on disk. And I want to put it on my desktop. So I'll just select the desktop here and just press OK. So it's easy to find. I don't want to put it in a subfolder, so I'm going to deselect it. Okay. Now I'll scroll down. File name in file name. That's fine. I just want to keep the same name of the file. So I'm not going to change it. And the file settings in the format drop down menu. I'm going to change it to original. When I change it to the original, it will export the original raw file. In this case, CR2 file from Canon camera. And you can see that most of the options are now disabled. And I'll just scroll down. That's fine. Ask for the export. Do nothing. I don't want to do anything. Just click on export. This will export the original raw file to my desktop. Okay, it seems uh, that it's done. So I'm just going to minimize Lightroom. And this is my raw file. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open it in Photoshop. So I'll just right click on it and make sure it opens with Photoshop CS5. I'll just select that. And now this image will open in Adobe Camera Raw inside Photoshop, Adobe Camera Raw 6.0. That's what I wanted. Hooray, well done. I can see the image has been changed. And also look on these sliders here. We're just going to compare them. So for example, what I have here, is the blacks on 13. If I jump to Lightroom, and I'll open this image in develop module. Blacks 13. Okay, let's look at that. Clarity 40 and Vibra 17. 
Clarity 40 Vibrant 17 is the same engine behind Lightroom and Camera Raw in Photoshop. Let's have a look on the color. F plus 13 for the tint. And in here, plus 13 for the tint as well. A temperature of 4850 Kelvins. 4850 Kelvins. So Adobe Camera reads the information from the raw file. Exactly the same information as you can see here inside of Lightroom. Okay, so let's go back to Photoshop. And I'm just going to close it. I don't want to make any changes. I just wanted to show how we can open these images. So just click on Console and back to Lightroom. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any more questions. This is Marek Mularczyk from sitetraining.co.uk. You can find more information on my blog as well, photoshoplightroombridge.co.uk. And see you next time.